Okay, this is going to be, let me just clarify, this is going to be one of the most difficult topics in the Illustrator Basics course. The reason is because there are so many different ways to mess it up. And I've done it in class. I, I've messed up something and spent uh, minutes or hours trying to figure out what I did wrong. Um, I, I spent quite a while in our class last week trying to figure out why what I was saying should work, didn't work, and it, it has to do with clipping masks. Now just for a basic general idea of what a clipping mask is, I'm going to show you on screen. I'll go uh, select the rectangle tool and I will create a nice big rectangle and then I will take something that is not rectangular like the ellipse tool and I will make a nice uh, constraint it on the center a nice ellipse I'm going to change that to black fill with a white stroke so you can see it uh, in contrast to the other one and <clears throat> then I'm going to create uh, turn it into turn the rectangle into the clipping mask. Now the problem is the clipping mask needs to be in front. So let's do that first. So command shift uh, right bracket or control shift left right bracket on your uh, on your PC. And so then select both of them and go to object clipping mask make or hold down control and hit 7. And what you should end up with is something that looks like this. And when you select it, you'll see that there's a window on the outside that encapsulates or, or masks everything else outside of that geometry. And so you don't see the top of this ellipse. You don't see the bottom of the ellipse. And so that, that's the general idea. That's what we're going for. However, when the shape that you're using to mask gets more and more complex, as in the case of our uh, vehicle wrap project for my class, um, you start running into some problems. And I'll show you that I had over here on my the rear end of this Ferrari that I was working on it would only mask it would do the outline but then the interior shape the only one that it would cut out was this left tail light it wouldn't cut out the right tail light and it wouldn't cut out the brake light and it wouldn't cut out the uh, the license plate or the horse or you know anything that I needed it to do so um, that's why there's some difficulty and some of it has to do with the way that you create your shape to begin with and some of it has to do with uh, the grouping and some of it has to do with the intricacy of your design that you're trying to put inside of the clipping mask so I'm going to try and hopefully clear up some errors here without too much um, too many hang-ups so there are a couple of ways to do it one is the one that I just showed you which again on this was creating a shape putting it in front of our design and then selecting everything and doing uh, going to the, the make a mask make a clipping mask another way to do it is with a, a shape and then while that shape is selected go to draw inside as our drawing mode and then we can get our other tools and make you know shapes inside that clipping mask and that's how that works and so that just creates the clipping mask for us which is actually kind of convenient. And again, once you have a masked, a, a masked shape, 
when you move it's like moving the whole group of everything within that I'm going to change back to normal drawing mode get the rectangle tool make another rectangle uh, change that to the default colors and get a star or a polygon let's go with a, a nice triangle and we could put our triangle again to the back of our rectangle select them both and then right click and make clipping mask and that puts the object in front again as our mask and it takes the stroke off of that just like it did over here when you do draw in side mode it left the stroke on there and so it created a clipping mask that had the stroke still in place so um, when you if you want to edit what's within the mask you simply double click on it to enter isolation mode and then you know you can add more shapes to your mask or to your design that's inside of the mask like that and then just exit isolation mode and then you have you know your mask that way so what's going to be best is going to be up to you um, these are a few ways to go about creating your clipping mask what the clipping mask does is again it masks out anything that lies outside of that mask shape so think of what you have to work with in you know the real world when you have a mask that you put on your face anything that is covered up uh, is is what you what you don't see and it'll only let things through the opening so for example your eye holes so that you can see when you're wearing a mask a better way to think about it is when you have masking tape and you have something that you are masking with your masking tape basically what you usually do is cover up with paper anything that you don't want to paint say on your car and that's that's essentially what you're doing in this vehicle project you would lay out your masking tape around the windows around the headlights around the grill around anywhere that you don't want to paint and then your mask becomes the the things that you don't want painted and so everything else is what you paint hopefully that will help you make sense of it as another example I'm going to go to my Ferrari here and I'm going to show you the problem that I've created for myself um, and I'll show you how to get around that so first let's zoom in here really close and that's holding down shift or excuse me control and the spacebar command in the spacebar and when you click on this it's obvious that what has happened is I my line has whatever I've done to it I've created a path out of that line because or actually a shape out of that path it used to be a path and now it's a shape you, and you can tell that by the path is on the outside of what looks like a stroke so how do I get rid of that uh, that problem well I could I could go through and edit each aspect of it because because I've got the outline I've got around the window I've got around all sorts of things um, so what I've created for myself is this problem where the path is the has become a shape and I think what I did was um, something with the Pathfinder tool and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply uh, delete the whole thing and start over 
and yeah it's even down here in the in the horse so I'm going to delete all of this outline here on the the front the front view of the the vehicle and then I will go through and show you how to properly create um, the mask using that shape so first I've saved it and the next thing I'm going to do is simply select all of this actually I take that back I'm going to come into the horse because I really don't want to have to trace around the horse again so what I'm going to do is zoom in and so we see the horse the, the Ferrari emblem right there and what I'm going to do is double click and then enter isolation mode and it's a compound path so I can take this interior and you can see I can select the exterior or the interior you can see that change there I'm going to just select this and copy it and that way I have that in my clipboard and then I will uh, exit isolation mode and I will zoom out a little bit there and then what I'll do is I will create a new layer and we've discussed layers and I'll just do rename it revised front and then I will paste I, first I'll, I'll lock the outline layer and then I will paste that shape in there and so you see the difference this has got this purple color as my selection and so now I've got the the horse and as you see if I turn off everything else it's the outline but it's filled because remember the problem I just had was instead of this uh, outline being a stroke it was a fill so let's turn that off the visibility off and then we'll switch the colors here shift X to switch the colors <laughs> that looks really fun uh, um, I'm going to knock the stroke down to a quarter inch or a quarter point so that it's a little it's a lot smaller and remember it won't have these points sticking off of it when it turns into a mask it'll just have the the sharp corners and things you know I don't think I like that either this is this is I, I I'm gonna leave this in the video because this is a problem that you may come up with uh, or you may face so what I'm going to do instead because I don't like the original and I don't like the copy that I've just made it's too it, it's it the original lines that I did were on the center of where this what looks to be a stroke and so they were a lot smoother instead of having these weird points and everything and instead of trying to redo that um, I've been I, I've been trying to find a way out of that but as you see it missed this this area here and it came all the way into here in the point I just don't want that so I'm going to cl uh, delete that go back to this tail uh, view the rear view of the vehicle because there you can see that it's it's got that path as the the true path that I really wanted so I'm going to double click that see if I can enter isolation mode of that part of the compound path I, apparently I missed it so I'll go into outline mode and see if I can just select not getting it. it it's a it's a precision thing and I'm getting close but just not close enough I wonder if I can zoom in close enough here and there it is you can't you can't hardly see it because it's that green with that faded blue indicating that I have it but as I zoom out you can see it a little better that I have that that portion selected 
So I'm going to copy, control C, command C, exit isolation mode, come to my revised front, paste it, there I have it. And fortunately for me, it's the same size. <laughs> that, that makes me happy. Okay, so I'll center that on the, on the center of the path. And now if I eyedropper and then again switch it to a stroke, that should look a little better. If I knock the path down to a quarter, yeah, that's, that's looking more like what we wanted. Okay, now so that's the, that's the, uh, the horse emblem. And now what I need to do is is take the um, the outline of the vehicle and for that um, I think I'll just go through and super speed mode uh, draw it all out so you can see that Okay, so that's my shape. That Those are all the outlines that I want to have uh, in my mask. Um, oops, apparently I missed one here, the, the door handle. So let's copy that over. And I'm holding down shift to constrain it. And then I will reflect it. And tap it into position where it needs to be. Okay, that's great. All right, so I can, with the selection tool, I can select the entire outline of everything that I want on the, on the vehicle. Um, I think, actually, I don't even need the horse because the horse is on the grill and it won't be part of the mask. So I'm going to delete that. A lot of wasted effort there so just be uh, uh, aware that you you may change your mind as you go through and you may want to remove some things from the from the mask 
the clipping mask as you're doing it. And that's okay. So now I will right click on the path and make a compound path. So now it is all one path and I'm ready to make uh, my path into a mask. So if you have already created your design, uh, in my case I already have, I'll turn that on here. So here's my design and you can still see the outline from the, uh, the, the path that I just created. Um, you can see that on this layer. Um, so what I would do is turn the design into a group. So let's turn the visibility of the front off, select everything on the design, command G or control G to make it a group. Turn the front, this, this path back on, hit select. And here's where there are a couple of options. First, you can try the right click and make clipping mask option. And there you go. I will undo that. The other option is holding down control or command and hitting seven. And as you see, it did the same thing. Um, and that is, uh, let me undo that and show you the other way. Go to object, down to clipping mask and hit make. So either of those three ways will get you the same result of the mask if you already have your design created. Okay, let me undo that and let's assume that I don't have my design created. I'll turn that layer, that, turn that layer off. I, I will just use the outline that I have here and I'm going to go down while it's selected going to go down here to the drawing modes and I'm going to go down to draw inside and as you see it's got these little dotted lines on the corners and that indicates that this is a compound path but it's also it's a clipping mask is what that is so let's make sure that we're in draw inside mode and now I can do the, the same things with uh, this, this, uh, this shape as it were a, as though it were a, um, a clipping mask. And I'm going to uh, create some things. So I'll get the rectangle tool and that I can make my rectangle but I want it to have, so I'll eye, eyedropper, I want it to have this color. And you see that I'm working inside of that outline as though it were a clipping mask. And then let's get the ellipse tool, find a center point. I think that's right there. Hold down Alt so I can expand from center and I think I want it right there. And I want that to be uh, this gradient color, but I want the gradient actually to go from white right here straight to black in the very back. And we won't actually see that. And then I can copy and paste in front and move that up a little bit. And then I'll grab that red color that I'm using on the very top. So you see I'm working inside of the clipping mask as though I were uh, making the edits uh, beforehand or whatever. And, and so I can, there's a few options. If you have your design that you want to put in the mask, go ahead and group that together and then make that mask. If you are not quite sure yet what you want to do, or you maybe uh, think you want to make some edits to that, then go ahead and use the draw inside drawing mode. And we'll go back to draw normal. And now you see that that um, 
that clipping mask has all sorts of different fills and strokes to it. And as you saw, when you do the draw inside, it retains that stroke color. And I hope you saw that when we created the clipping mask, that stroke and fill of of the clipping mask, the, the outline, uh, it removed the, the stroke. Now the run, one reason you would want to do this is if you have your clipping mask and you want to edit that clipping mask contents, um, it just makes it easier. So going to edit object, down to clipping mask, down to edit contents, and then you can move things around within your clipping mask itself. And it just makes it a little bit easier. So if you have your clipping mask selected and you want to change any of the colors, well, it's going to be the whole entirety, all of the objects within that mask, everything with a fill or a stroke or whatever, um, every part of the mask itself and any of the contents. If you right click to edit the clipping mask contents, you can remove that stroke and then again that was just by going into isolation mode. So clipping masks are a great uh, thing to use for masking out colors, masking out shapes. Uh, I've, I've used it for this vehicle wrap project that you'll see on my playlist and also that we've been discussing in class and then also uh, just remember that there are a few things to do uh, to keep the mask integrity um, make sure if you're going to move anything around inside the mask that you enter the isolation mode of the mask uh, remember that if you want to build the mask and then add the design as you go that you'll want to do the draw inside version and if you have your design already created that you can just select both the design and the mask and create that clipping mask so there's there are a few things to to keep in mind it's a little more advanced than a, a basic course but i feel that it's it's very important to learn how to do, uh, how to create the masks, how to edit the masks. The last thing you need to worry about with a clipping mask is uh, releasing it. And you can go to Object, Clipping Mask, Release, or that's Alt Command 7 or Alt Control 7, or you can simply right click on it and release the clipping mask and that will explode or expand everything back to the original shapes that you had so if you don't like the way that it turned out you need to do major changes to it you know not simply moving things around or editing inside of it if you if you need to do things like that um, there is that option okay so again Command 7, Control 7 will make your clipping mask. You can draw inside of it if you do the draw inside version um, and all of, the, all of those things that we've just talked about. So if you have questions, hopefully you can uh, either find an answer online or uh, ask and I, I should be able to help you with this. Um, if you're in my class, otherwise leave a comment down below and uh, good luck making your clipping masks and uh, building some cool things in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you very much. 
One thing I wanted to add to uh, the discussion of clipping masks and combining shapes and um, the merging and pathfinder th uh, tools is the ability that you have once you have these compound paths or the compound shapes that you can enter isolation mode and pick pieces out and copy them out and use them in other places. For example, let's say I want the outline, the full, just, just the outline, everything on the exterior, not these interior um, parts of the mask, but I just want the outline of this mask. And so I can, I can, um, I can enter isolation mode, which will give me I can the ability to select the path itself, and then I can isolate selected com compound path, and if I can find it, I can click on that individual path on the outside, and you can see that. I could click on the windshield, I could click on the headlight area, the vent, the grill area, you know, any of the pieces that I've created, but I want this outline. And then in order to extract it, I just copy that. So Command C on a Mac, Control C on a PC, and then exit out of isolation mode. Now what I can do with that is I can open another layer if, I, if I'd like to and I'll just turn off everything else and then I can paste that in place. So while I'm on the layer, uh, control shift V or command shift V and you see it, well you can sort of see it, it's kind of a yellow. Let's go to the default stroke and fill and now you can see that there. So what I can do with this, if I want to have a different style and I can turn on that other uh, uh, that other layer, I can, for example, um, shift X to swap those colors and now I have some things that I can do and it's the whole outline, it's the outline around that shape that I pulled out of the compound path. Remember when we were working on the uh, Superman logo and I went into the isolation mode and selected just the interior parts or just the exterior part. That's essentially what I'm doing. It's almost ungrouping or uncombining, but it, it's really just extracting from the one shape to give me another option. And so now I have that second shape that I can take and have, you know, I can use that as a motif for a pattern or something like that. I can use it for uh, building a cool drop shadow effect or, you know, whatever I want to do with that shape once it's out there. Um, but I have that shape and it's the exact shape that I had from inside that, that original. And remember, if it's a compound path, that's what you need to do in order to get a piece out of it. So uh, just keep in mind that there are there are ways to um, not really uncombine or ungroup, but use parts from inside a compound path, a compound shape, a clipping mask. Uh, use, you can use them for other other uses outside of that shape just by copying it out and uh, I hope that'll help you to come up with some cool um, artwork uh, cool effects that you can use um, so uh, just think of ways you could do that like for example as I mentioned earlier you could use this as a part of a motif for a pattern and make a bunch of these shapes you know, and then combine them or, or group them however you'd like. And uh, anyway, come up with a cool pattern based on a shape that you've pulled out of your compound, compound path. Okay, so 
go ahead and have fun playing with and, and using the compound paths, the uh, clipping masks to create some different effects using things that you've already created.